Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be having a look at how you can install custom sirens for GTA 5 using OpenIV. So my name is Aldo1125 and today we are doing a new episode part of Learn GTA 5 Modding Albo's Way. If you haven't checked out that playlist yet, a link is going to be in the description. And I've also done a video showing you how to install OpenIV and set that up. That is going to be pre-required knowledge, so if you, haven't, if you haven't watched that yet, make sure to check that out. A card should be in the top right right now and there's also going to be a link in the description. So we're going to start off right where we left off there. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we are going to show you how to install three sirens today. One is the Will and Alpha Series 12R, one is the Morton Siren Pack Alpha, and one is the Modern LIPD Smart Siren. And all three of these use different installation methods and work slightly differently with installing them. So I'm going to go through all of them one by one. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to click download this file. And it's pretty obvious that it is a siren, so we don't have to check for that anywhere in the file properties anymore. And we are going to save it in our download slash GTA 5 mods folder. And what we are going to do is we're going to create a new folder called, uh, let's call it audio. Let's put that up over there. And we'll save it up into that folder just so we organize it nicely. There we go, it's going to download. We are going to open the archive using WinRAR and we are going to extract it. And after that, we are going to go into the Will and Alpha series folder and we get greeted with this folder. So there are going to be two versions of this siren. One is the normal version for GTA and one is the version for Siren Mastery. Now Siren Mastery is a plugin that I created that allows you to add custom sirens outside of the game and make them play in game anyway. Um, I'm not going to go over how to install those in this video because I've done a separate video on how to install Siren Mastery Siren. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out that link in the description and there should also be a card in the top right right now. So we are going to go over into the normal folder because we are going to do a normal GTA 5 Siren installation. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the installation.txt file. And as you can see, we get the Well and Alpha Series 12 R for GTA 5 uh, readme installation guide and it tells you how to install it. So um, what we are going to do is we're going to open OpenIV. For me, that's just going to be in my taskbar. For you, it might be in your desktop or in your start menu, and we're going to go into grab the Riffy Windows. There we go. And as you might remember, last time we created a mods folder that is going to be right up over there. We also copied the X64 and update folders into the mods folder. So we are going to go over into mods, X64, audio, SFX, and then a resident.rpf. And uh, in the resident.rpf, the place where the uh, GTA 5 vehicle sounds are stored are in vehicles.awc. So the siren sounds can be changed inside the vehicles.awc file. So what we're going to do is we are going to press edit mode. As you can see, before I can make any changes inside of this, I need to enable edit mode, so we're going to Enable that, we're going to click yes. There we go, that's all going to work. And what we're going to do is we're going to quickly just close this and we are going to open the folder here. And as you can see, this siren has a vehicles.awc installation file. So uh, the first siren technique that we're going to do is we're going to install a siren pack that only has a vehicles.awc file. And this is one of the easiest to install. So basically all you need to do is you need to drag this file over into here. And as you can see the vehicles.awc, the file size has just changed. And that, is, uh, that indicates that this has been copied over into here successfully. Now if you for whatever reason are not able to drag the file into OpenIV, another thing that you can do is you can right click vehicles.awc and you can click replace. And after you click replace, you navigate over to where the vehicles.awc file is located. So for me, that is going to be in GTA 5 mods audio, well now for series 12R, uh, normal, and then vehicles.awc, double click that, and it'll be replaced as well. So once that is done, we can deactivate edit mode, and we can basically play our game. And that is all going to work perfectly. Now the second time we're going to install is the modern Siren Pack Alpha. So we're gonna click download this file and we are going to start the download and we are also going to save it inside our gta5 mod slash audio folder you can just click save and that will start downloading it'll probably take a few seconds and once it's finished downloading you can open that and we are going to extract this archive into the folder as well so as you can see we are now inside the modern siren pack download we can open this as you can see this download is quite a little bit bigger 
than the previous one. So what we can do again is we can open the uh, documentation.txt file, which is going to be this one in this case. And as you can see, it's got quite a lot of information uh, about the whole Siren mod. It's also got a little bit of installation information. I'm just going to go through it with you in the video, but make sure to give this a read uh, so you know exactly what this pack includes. So uh, what this Siren pack actually allows you to do, pretty interestingly, is it allows you to choose which Siren you would like to have in your game. So you could choose the Code 3 PSE, the Federal Signal Corps, etc, etc. However, the file and folder that we are looking for are the vehicles.osc file and the vehicles folder. Now these two are very important. These two are the ones that we are going to be putting into the game. And if, if we open the vehicles folder, here we see that these are all the sounds that you are going to install in the game if we install this folder uh, using the vehicles.osc file. So say you wanted to install the um, Federal Signal Corps uh, sirens into your game instead of the one that is in vehicles by default, you can open this and you can choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to pick one. And as you can see, this has got two files. So you can just copy these, hold control and press control C on the keyboard. And you can go into your vehicles folder and you can paste this and you can replace files in the destination. And then those two sounds will be installed instead of the ones that are in this by default. I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it the way it is for now. Just keep it as default. I like the default uh, sirens that the modern siren pack offers. So we are just going to have a look at how we can install the vehicles folder with the vehicles.osc file. So basically what you do is you go into OpenIV, you go to mods, x64 audio, sfx, and then resident.rpf. We see that we have the vehicles.ewc file here again, just like in the last time. We're going to click edit mode, click yes. And what we're then going to do is we are going to right click in a wide area where there's nothing. And as you can see, we will get open import formats as an option. A shortcut for that is going to be shift and insert on the keyboard. I'm going to click that. And we are going to go over into the modern siren pack download and we are going to select vehicles.osc. And it's going to come up with this uh, import open formats. We are going to select OK. And after that is done, this will all be imported and the sirens will be ready for use. So you can deactivate edit mode and you can go into the game and enjoy. Now the last siren pack we are going to install, which is pretty much the most complicated installation process, is the modern LAPD smart siren. Uh, just as an example here, uh, we're going to click download this file and we're going to download the latest version. We are going to start the download and we are going to save the uh, file inside the uh, audio folder in our GTA 5 mods downloads folder. Uh, click save and that is all going to download. We are going to open that and extract it. And once that is extracted, we are going to go into that folder and read the readme of course. This tells you exactly what is in this download and how to install it. We are just going to go over into the siren files and as you can see, Inside the Siren files, I've simply got a few folders, and these folders simply contain some .wav files, which are basically replacements uh, for the files that are in vehicles.awc by default. So what we are going to do for this installation process is we are first going to have to open OpenIV, go into Windows, and then we are going to go into Mods, X64 Audio, SFX, and then Resident.RPF, and now we are going to first have to extract our current vehicles.awc. So what you can do is you can uh, click edit mode. There we go. We are going to select yes. And after that, we are going to right click vehicles.awc and select export to open formats. And after that, we are going to go into the download slash GTA 5 mod slash audio folder. We are going to create a new folder called export. Just so it doesn't mess up our main folder, we're going to go into that folder and click select folder. And it's going to extract into that folder. And what we're then going to do is we're going to go into that folder, uh, the export folder. And as you can see, it's got the vehicles folder and the vehicles.osc file, uh, which we saw in the previous installation process from the modern Siren pack. And if we go into the vehicles folder, uh, we have all of these files. And these are the files the game uses, basically. So what we need to do is we need to go into the uh, LAPD Smart Siren download. And as you can see, these files are all replacements for the in-game sound. So these are the files of the mod, basically. So what you can do is you can hit Ctrl A on your keyboard, which selects all the files. Then we're going to right click, select copy, or press Ctrl C on the keyboard. 
and then we are going to go into our export file folder and we are going to press Ctrl V on our keyboard and we are going to hit replace the files in the destination so we're going to paste those files into here and they will get replaced. So now what we have is we have changed the files uh, that we just exported with the files that we uh, want into the game which are the LAPD Smart Siren Tones. So now that that is all ready we can go back into OpenIV we can right click anywhere that's not a file and we can import open formats or press shift or, uh, plus insert and after that we go into the GTA 5 mods slash audio slash export folder and we select the vehicles the OAC file and we press OK and that is now imported so those files are now right into our game and they will be working. Now something very important to note with this method is that the vehicles.awc file cannot be over 15.75 megabytes I believe it is. Um, if that happens then you will not have any siren sounds in game or the siren sounds and other vehicle sounds will be muted. So whenever that happens that means you've got a too big vehicles.awc file. Now what you can do if that happens is you can right click vehicles.awc select like export to open formats and we'll just export it right into the export folder once again select folder and that's going to re-export it and then what you can do is you can go into the vehicles folder and you can start looking for files that are not very relevant to your game for instance I uh, chose the clown horn tones uh, that you never use if you uh, play modded uh, police GTA. So you can look for those files. I can't remember the exact name but you can just go and cl double click on them and you can see which ones they are. And once you find a file with a sound that you don't really don't need in the game or never hear anyway, what you can do is you can mute that sound using Audacity. Now if you don't know what Audacity is, it is a free program that allows you to edit audio. I personally use it to edit some of my audio uh, sometimes. You can download it for free, it is available down below in the description where there is a link and you can download it. And I'm just going to walk you through the process very quickly of muting the uh, game files that you don't need. So to do that I'm going to use an example of internal cabin tone, uh, which sounds like this. And we don't really need that in our game because if you're playing GTA 5 police mods you're never really going to use the internal cabin tone or never really are going to hear it. So what you can then do is you can start an instance of Audacity. So as you can see now we have just opened a new Audacity window and we have got the folder containing all of our audio files next to that nicely uh, lined up like that. And what we are going to do is we are going to drag over the internal cabin tone.wav into OpenIV and we're going to select make a copy of the files before editing which is safer we're going to click OK and that is going to import into Audacity and if we listen to it uh, by clicking the play button you'll hear that that sound is pretty long and it was the same as we heard before uh, so what we can now do is we can hit Ctrl A on the keyboard and then we can hit delete on the keyboard and that will delete all of those waves as you can see now it doesn't actually play any sound anymore that's because the file is empty so what we're going to do is we're going to click file and then we're going to click uh, export and then we are going to go into our GTA 5 mods folder and we are going to go into our audio folder into our export folder and then vehicles folder which is where we exported our stuff and we're going to hit save and as you can see it'll ask us if we want to replace of course we hit yes and we can just leave this all blank hit OK and that file will now pretty much take up no space anymore so you have basically uh, removed an unnecessary file from the uh, game and it'll result in a smaller vehicles AWC file and once you've done that you can go back into open IV and as we did before activate edit mode right click uh, somewhere that is not a file uh, you can select import open formats or hit shift plus insert on the keyboard and you can import vehicles OAC again click OK and there you can make sure that the file size is under 15.75 megabytes and you should be good to go. And if you still have no siren sounds in the game you're going to have to repeat that process a few times to make sure that this uh, file size gets a little bit smaller. And with that being said everyone, that concludes our tutorial on how you can install sirens into the game. So we have seen quite a few methods on how you can install sirens depending on how the author of that siren redistributes it. Something I still recommend doing that I forgot to do earlier by the way is you can go into your favorites menu you can click add to favorites once you are inside this uh, folder 
or archive containing vehicles.awc. And what you can do is you can call this uh, sirens, just like that. You can click add. And whenever you restart OpenIV and come into this screen, you can just go into favorites and go to sirens and you'll be right inside this uh, folder and quickly edit your vehicles.awc. So that means you won't have to navigate over to this uh, folder every time you launch OpenIV. So I hope this helped you out. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. If you haven't done so yet, please remember to check out the Learn GTA 5 modding Albo's Way playlist if you would like some more information on how I have personally modded my GTA 5 game. And they should help you out quite a lot with all the tips, tricks and tutorials that are available there to you. So a link for that is going to be on screen right now. And with that being said, everybody, thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.